morning guys it is Friday um, lower body's feeling pretty sore today Eddie killed me last night on the sled and the lunges and all that we went from sled to lunges to a low plank and like it burned pretty good so um, I am pretty sore today so I'm dragging a little bit of ass this morning and uh, I'm late uh, so we need to make this quick today you gotta be kidding me what is this at 243 for like four days in a row now i don't get it i don't understand but let's get clothes back on eat some breakfast and go to work welcome back guys so um i went to work earlier um then i came home and then i hit the gym and now i'm back from the gym uh i didn't take you guys with me tonight uh, because it's just a cardio night and I was just doing the stair climber I did 30 minutes on the stair climber and then I hit a few sets of ab work um, But and I didn't take you guys just because of that I didn't take you guys because I forgot my fucking camera, so <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't take you guys with me. I did go live on my Facebook page though for that accountability, so um, Back from the gym. I am putting in more work tonight, and I got some big fucking news the big news is um, if you've been following along, uh, depending upon when this video releases, it might be a month from now. I, I don't know when this video is going to be releasing in comparison to what day it is right now. I'm going to try to make that as short as uh, a time frame as possible. But um, the gist here is October 5th was going to be the day that I transitioned out of my other two businesses that I run. I also run a real estate business and a media company. Uh, and for the last while, it's been me pretty much putting my full-time focus on those things because that's what paid the bills. That's what kept fuel in the, in the tank. That's what kept everything running. All the, that's what kept the wheels turning for Mask to continue progressing. And Mask, at this point in time, we are growing so rapidly right now that the pipes are starting to bust. And if I don't come back to put my full-time focus here, the whole infrastructure is just gonna collapse. The pipes are gonna bust and I'm not gonna be able to maintain and it's just gonna collapse. So I made the decision uh, a, a couple of months back that October 5th was gonna be my day that, you know, I, I, I looked at our numbers and I said that that's gonna be the time when I can safely pull out of my other businesses. And uh, I'm happy to say that we didn't wait till October 5th because we did it today. We made that decision today. So as of today, I am officially, whoa, I am officially full fucking time working my passion now I'm not shutting those other two businesses down I'm just withdrawing from them in the capacity that I've been working them in I'm still gonna be a real estate agent I'm still gonna have a media company however my the deals that I work and the people that I work with I'm gonna be much more selective because I don't I'm not starving for that business anymore from those uh, from those channels right so uh, prices are going to increase, our clientele is going to be much more specific, um, and our services are probably going to be narrowed. Um, and Aaron, my apprentice uh, partner, whatever you want to call him, uh, Aaron, I call him my apprentice because I've been essentially just training him up over the last year to replace me. Um, but Aaron, uh, see the media company that I was running uh, was, an, uh, was underneath an umbrella of my dad's company. Uh, and essentially what we're doing is we're pulling out from underneath that umbrella and we're going independent. And Aaron, who was going to be replacing me there and staying there, is actually coming with me. So Aaron is going to be kind of spearheading that whole that whole operation. I'm not going to be really working much with it. I'm just going to be kind of a, an advisor uh, and a support role type of person. So Aaron is going to be kind of taking the horns or taking the bull by the horns on that business. And I'll be really selectively working with a couple of real estate deals here and there, but for the vast majority, for 95% of my focus is going to be right here with you guys, focused, dead set on Mask Tactical. Working my passion, I'm super, mm, I'm super excited. I don't even, I can't even put it into words, guys. I am so, I've waited for this day for so fucking long. So many years I've been grinding for this. You guys, Some of you guys have been here from the beginning, guys. You know, like, some of you guys have watched this evolve. And, and I'm, man, I'm so excited to be to this point. You guys don't even understand. I can't put it into words. It's just freaking, it's freaking awesome. So I, I need to get my focus where it's best put to work, where I am most productive and effective, is being right here in front of this camera, talking to you guys, making awesome content, writing awesome articles, creating training curriculum, 
Uh, those are the things that I need to be doing and training my ass off myself to develop these skill sets that I am going to translate to you guys over the years to come. So, uh, I, I don't know what else to say guys. I am so fucking excited for this. I've waited so long for this. Thank you guys so much. I mean, really, like, you... I don't even... Thank you guys so much. You don't understand. Like, I, I literally can't put it into words what, like, just the fucking waves of emotions that are just rolling over my shoulders right now. I, I can't even... Ex I can't describe it, guys. Um, like I said, for the last seven years straight, I have poured every ounce of my soul into this operation every night and every weekend possible for seven straight years and uh i went full time at it uh, a couple of years ago and i ended up it wasn't it just wasn't the right time i ran out of funds and then i ended up having to dive back into real estate and you know do odd jobs here and there i was even doing like odd landscaping jobs here and there um you know like i was doing whatever i had to do right to keep the bills paid and keep the wheels turning to avoid having to shut this down or at least shelf it for a period of time so you know i came home every single night two three hours a night whatever was left in the day you know i didn't my family i had to sacrifice that family time uh and i still do to a degree but you know i had to sacrifice family time i had to sacrifice gym time there there's I had to sacrifice so much time because there was little time left to work in the day when I was working 40 to 50 hours a week on other businesses to keep the bills paid. Um, so, you know, I, I was putting in two or three hours a night and then a, a little bit of time on the weekends when I could, when it wasn't being devoted to the family. Um, and and then trying to juggle fitness on top of all that, like, that, you know, it's, it's, it's rough. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. So, um, you know, it... There's just, I, I, I just can't formulate words powerful enough to explain to you guys what this feels like. So, you know, like, I'm finally at a point to where, you know, like, now the business is, is rocking. We're doing good. Thank you guys again. It's because of you guys. I, did, I didn't, I did this with pennies and peanuts. I never had a partner. I never had help. I never had an investor. I never had shit. I never had shit, right? I had a YouTube channel and a Facebook page and... I monetized that a little bit and it grew into enough money for me to start a server and build a website and then from there I started writing blog content and monetized that and a little bit more money and a little bit more money and we were able to develop a membership program as the tribe as you guys know and then that just kept evolving and it, it, it all just kept evolving and dollar by dollar purely off the back of you guys supporting us and supporting this vision this mission that I've got it's much bigger than me if you guys don't know what the mission is be sure to check the website it's huge. We are on a massive mission and we are changing lives everywhere, all across the globe. I've got guys in Australia, Canada, Alaska, Sweden, Denmark, all across the US. We've got members all across the world actively getting massive results in their life just by being a part of our tribe and participating in what it is that we do. We bridge a gap. We fill a void. We do something that nobody else in the industry does and it's changing lives and like to be able to do that as a as my career you know like i knew that that was the goal back when i started i just didn't know how long it was going to take to get here and i didn't know for sure if i would get here but we are finally we crossed milestone number one uh a few weeks back and milestone number one is pretty much our base operational overhead covered which allows me to shut off all my other businesses to to an extent and be full-time with you guys so now that we have crossed that milestone now i'm full-time now shit gets fucking real now i got so much more time to devote to you guys now i got so much more time to put into content and filming and oh man it's gonna be awesome with all of this being said thank you guys again um thank you tomorrow tomorrow we've got a training session at three o'clock uh, and then the rest of this weekend is just going to be purely devoted to getting caught up and ahead of all of the orders that we've been behind on for the last few weeks because of all of this this transitional process of me pulling out of my other businesses. You know, a couple of weeks ago I started prepping for that. Part of that prep was building this set back here with the backdrop, building this table, getting this camera. Uh, there, I mean, a lot of things, you know, like putting LEDs up to make the, make, make the set cooler in here. Um, 
a lot of prep went into that and now uh now so i'm behind a little bit but now this so this whole first week is pretty much just going to be dedicated to us getting ahead once we get ahead then we can see the field we can see the playing field ahead of us clearly and then we we start picking content to start attacking we got some gear reviews coming up we've got some educational stuff coming up uh, we've got more resources that we're actually about to launch for you guys for health and fitness um, training curriculum for layer two of the primal method i'm getting ready to start writing my book i'm getting ready to start doing so many things and now that i've got the time for it it's no longer i'm gonna it's no longer it's about to it's it's actually it's fucking happening right now i'm taking massive action if you're not following me on facebook start following me and uh you know shoot me a dm i'm always open to meeting new people and learning from new people uh this is a collaborative effort here I am not your guru, I'm not your expert, I'm just a guy on a preparedness mission, trying to get prepared myself, prepare my family, uh, learn as much as I can, and help inspire and educate others to do the same all along the way. So if I can do that for just one of you guys, just one, my, I, I'm happy with that. But <laughs> the stats don't lie, we've been doing that for hundreds of people for the past few years and it's only growing and growing and growing rapidly right now. So, um, alright guys, that's it, I'll ramble on all night if I don't shut up. So. Uh, that's it for today guys. I'm feeling good. Creative juices are back. I'm fucking pumped up as hell. I'm sure you guys can tell. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It is Saturday now. We've got a training session this evening at 3. Uh, we got to weigh in here in just a second see where we're at. And hopefully between today uh, we should be down to 240 or less. We'll see where we're at this morning. I'm feeling pretty good that I, I'm pretty confident that we lost a decent uh, amount yesterday we'll see where we're at though I have not used the bathroom yet this morning and I have not ate so better be less than 243 so I guess 242 242 so that's progress that's progress I like progress so Aaron's on his way here it is like just after 8 o'clock this morning he should be here around 8 30 uh, I gotta go back inside, eat some breakfast, then we gotta come back out, and we're just gonna be pumping out work all day. And uh, this is the first full day of being full time with you guys. So, although it's just administrative shipping orders all day, I'm fucking stoked. Let's get to work. All right, it's time to get to the gym. It's been a really good day of work so far today. We're only halfway through it, but we're hitting our workout session and uh my entire schedule is changing up this next week since we're now full timing this thing um everything about my schedule changed we're changing my uh my lifting days uh, are all getting uh reorganized the times and all that kind of stuff everything's changing up and I'll, I'll give you guys some clarity on that you know maybe monday or something like that but uh we also also took the foam that was on the back wall right here all the foam that used to be right here and i put it up there on the ceiling and wrap it around those lights. I've still got to put two on this sides over here. Uh, I'm just waiting on some more adhesive to come from that. So uh, almost got the, the lights wrapped there. So it's probably not noticeable to you guys, but it does help a little bit with um, noise control, um, just a little bit when it comes to like podcasts and stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely cool to have that foam. Got a few more pieces to put up later on and we'll get that taken care of. Um, so let's head over to the gym and i'll see you guys there all right guys we're at the gym obviously eddie what's on the agenda today simple squat press pull conditioning you said five by five right yeah we'll be doing so, five so by that five basically just means five five sets, sets of, five. of five for five different workouts yep five, well five sets of five on each one of those three okay so i'm gonna be doing squat uh standing strict press and deadlift. Cool. pretty sore from last two days of leg work so doing squats and deadlifts today is a little bit sore I had to do some warm-up reps uh, but 
made it through it we're, we're going up in weight we're going up in and uh endurance i mean it feels like my endurance is coming up i'm i'm feeling stronger so we're doing good so that's gonna be it for today i guess uh i will catch you guys tomorrow morning we gotta weigh in we gotta weigh in and do a body rotation. good morning guys actually it's not morning it's actually uh it's like three o'clock in the evening uh last night after my training session i got super super cold so i had a sore throat all day so i kind of felt it coming but um i didn't think it was gonna hit me like like a brick wall man as soon as i got home from my training session yesterday my body just got super cold and achy and uh pretty much just paralyzed me for the rest of the night so like you know i didn't know what it was i still don't know what it is but today i'm feeling much better but i have been taking some tylenol to kind of bring the fever down and all that i was cold and sweating all night at the same time so uh i don't know i still feel like uh pretty much shit today that's why i'm just now getting out here at three o'clock in the evening so i'm gonna try to muster up some energy and get a little bit of work done today but it is sunday and uh i still feel like shit so probably not gonna get too much done to be honest with you but uh i wanted to come out here and go ahead and weigh in see where we're at and uh do body rotation uh i will i did i did eat at last night at for dinner since i was feeling so sick i did eat some wonton soup um so my weight's probably i'm probably not 240 like i had originally planned but i haven't really ate today i ate a couple pieces of beef turkey this morning and uh a little bit of a couple slices of turkey that's really like all i've ate today i've i didn't eat breakfast this morning um i, I just not had the appetite so uh, let's weigh in, see where we're at, and then we'll get down with a body rotation. I think we're back up to 243. 243. Now, I feel like we'd probably be 240, 241 if I hadn't had that soup last night. I did eat a pretty hefty amount of that soup because uh, it was really, really uh, helping my throat not hurt as some hurt so much. Um, but it is what it is. Um, this is just the way the, the the universe does you, man. Whenever you, you whenever you're about to do something really fucking big, you're about to take massive action. It tries to slow you down some way to keep you average. So uh, let's go ahead and do a body rotation. Look at the face. Okay, so like I said, I'm really not feeling that great right now. Um, I'm gonna try later tonight, maybe in a few hours, try to muster up a little energy to come back out and get some work done. Work that I was supposed to do yesterday, last night, but got sick instead. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And I will just see you guys tomorrow morning. Should be back in action tomorrow morning. I'm feeling much better today than I was last night, but I'll probably be back in action tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday. I'm feeling a lot better today than I was the last two days. So we're back in action. May or may not have a training session this evening. Just depends on how I keep feeling for the rest of the day. We've got a Trump rally today here in town. Uh, we're going to try to go to later on tonight. Um, but we can't, we obviously can't take cameras and all that kind of stuff with us, uh, unfortunately. I'll try to snap a selfie or something like that while I'm in there if I can. But, um, so that's what's on the agenda today other than work, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and weigh in. 240.8. But, that's most likely because I haven't really ate shit over the last two days. I have ate, and it wasn't that good, but I didn't eat a lot. So... I'll take that. That's pretty good. So, let's. Uh, I haven't ate breakfast yet this morning, so gotta go eat breakfast and uh, then get back out here in the building and put in. Some What's work. up, guys? Good morning. It is Tuesday. Uh, I'm feeling much better today. I've still got a little bit of a sore throat, but I'm feeling good enough to get back in action here. Um, so, 
we went to the Trump rally last night, or tried to rather. We left left like an hour and a half early, uh, and I don't know why we thought that that was going to be enough time. I didn't really think that it was, but that's just when we ended up leaving, and even leaving an hour and a half early, the place by the time we got there, every it was totally packed. The the, the place that they were having it at could seat like 8,500 people max. And it was rumored that there was probably over 50,000 people surrounding the building outside. Uh, and then all the way down the streets to watch the motorcade come in and all that. And uh, so we went, we got out in town, we had to park way out in town and walk up to the uh, event location. <clears throat> and uh, we, we had to walk the street where the motorcade was going to come down. But then we took a side road to try to get to the event place faster to get there to watch the, the rally. And then as we turned down that, the motorcade passed, and then like all we did, all we saw was like the tops of the cars just graze the hill. So we so we missed the motorcade, and then we got like halfway up the hill to the event and saw like waves of people walking back, and every one of them were like, no no chance you'll get in, you know, like there's five times the amount of people up there, and so that just kind of like killed our dreams. <laughs> so we just turned around and walked back and said fuck it and came home and watched it on the news. Um, so. Uh, so that was that. That kind of sucks. That was disappointing. You know, how many times in your life are you going to get to see a president, especially in your hometown? Uh, so, uh, anyway, is what it is. Let's go ahead and weigh in this morning, see where we're at, and then uh, get started for the day. So I have not ate yet today, but I have used the bathroom, so I'm feeling a little bit lighter this morning. So let's see where we're at. 2.41. So... I think we were 241 yesterday or 241.8 or something like that so that's pretty good considering I've missed training because of being sick so I'll take it I will take it today catching up on orders shipping orders all day long trying to get back ahead of all this work that I've been behind and uh, as soon as we get caught back up a lot of things are gonna kick into gear and you guys are gonna like it this vlog is gonna get more interesting um, and uh so much more content is going to be coming um but um let me get my clothes back on okay so some things are about to change up with my diet uh according to my trainer i don't know what yet because he hasn't sent me the new plans but some things are about to change up and when they do i will enlighten you guys um <clears throat> other than that as of yesterday i didn't get to get into action yesterday and and i'm kind of still a little bit slow today but uh, as of yesterday, I officially have started training twice a day. So yes, I, di I didn't start yesterday, obviously, but that was my, my starting point, and I just didn't because I was sick. But um, as of this week, I am officially training twice a day. And what that looks like is every single... I wake up at 7.30 every single morning now, and from 7.30 to 9, I do a, a whole morning ritual uh, thing to get me kind of pumped up and in the right flow state for the day and one part of my morning ritual is a 10 to 15 minute high intensity cardio session just a little hit set, uh, hit circuit here at home or uh, you know a couple mile run around the block some some sprints around the block <clears throat> um, so I, I get that in in the morning really early while I'm kind of in somewhat of a fasted state and then um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are now my lifting days. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. is when we are at the gym lifting. And we do get a little bit of cardio in these lifting sessions as well, but it's mostly just focused on lifting. And then in the in-between days, so on Tuesday and Thursday, in the mornings uh, at, I think it's 11 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I am doing a cardio specific session at the gym and that's when I'll be doing a full session not a 10 to 15 minute one but a full session every Tuesday and Thursday on cardio so lifting Monday Wednesday Friday cardio Tuesday Thursday but cardio every single morning of the week as well um, and then Saturday is gonna be kind of a dynamic workout um, it's um, you know it's it's going kayaking or going hiking or um biking or it's something outdoors you know dynamic it's going to change all the time and then sunday is going to be my off day i'm still going to get in some active recovery in the morning with a lighter cardio session on that sunday morning but then no serious activity for that sunday because that's going to be focused on recovery so just stretching throughout the day hydrating getting ready for monday again so 
um, it's about to get much more intense on the training front and therefore the diet is going to change just a little bit as well and uh, I imagine the intake is going to be increasing um, so which is going to be kind of a little bit difficult I think but with the added training um, I don't know maybe I'll be starving we'll see um, that's pretty much it guys so let's uh, I still got to eat breakfast I'm going to go ahead and grab breakfast real quick then I'm going to come back out we're going to work pump out orders all day um, uh, I'm not doing my cardio session today because I've still got a sore throat and, and I'm just a little bit sick still and I don't want to I don't want to I'm usually usually I'm like you know go in and work it out you know like I'll work through just about anything but uh, in the last couple of years of my life I've been like really focused on going hard on recovery just as hard as I go on training so anytime I get sick now it's just like I, I don't want to try to work it out uh, because oftentimes it, it, it results in me getting even worse so um, the day that I think that I am better like I feel like I'm better today I feel like I could go I, I mean like my energy's fine I, my body doesn't ache the only thing that I've still got going on now is a little bit of a sore throat bit left but anytime now the day that I usually think that I'm better I usually wait at least one more because I'm usually not quite ready I feel ready, but I'm usually not quite ready for at least another day. So uh, I'm going to give it one more day before I get back to training. And then tomorrow we will be training and hitting a lift session because it is Wednesday tomorrow. So uh, that's all I got. Let's get to work. Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday. Still, still got a little bit of a sore throat today. I don't know why this thing hasn't gone away. It's just staying with me, I guess. Hopefully it goes away by the end of the day. We'll see. Um... I did not film yesterday. You might have noticed that. Um, there's been two days out of every day since I began this so far that I did not film. One of those days was due to corrupted SD card that just trashed all my footage. Um, and then yesterday, I just didn't film yesterday, guys. Uh, I came out. I went to work. I went straight to the gym. I just left my camera here. I just didn't even think about it. I don't know why. But I, it, at this point, it's kind of becoming like just part of my nat, my my normal EDC to have my camera and, and film and and all of that. And uh, I just, for whatever reason, did not film yesterday. So sorry about that. But we're in here today. Uh, Got to get a way in. And and we've been processing orders. Got them all sprawled out on the desk here we've been processing orders for like the past two days straight and uh after today we should be caught back up which means things are, are about to change and we're about to start doing some different things throughout the day other than just processing orders now that we are caught back up or getting caught back up so uh let's weigh in then i gotta go eat some breakfast and we have added another meal to the nutrition plan now that i am going to, going to be training a lot more uh, I am adding another meal into the day. Um, it's all about getting my metabolism regulated and, and firing properly, um, which is why I'm eating so much volume and eating so many times throughout the day. So, um, but it, it it does matter. Both both aspects matter: the amount of food you're eating and how consistent how frequently you're eating it's not just about having six small meals throughout the day or you know, or whatever it's all about the volume it's all about how many times you're eating what you're eating um, I'm not gonna recommend you anything because this is custom tailored to me and you need a trainer that understands what indicators uh, to be looking for and he has made this change to my nutrition plan based off of the results that I'm getting, the goal that I have, and the way that I perform in the gym. All of those things combined together, he sees certain indications that might lead him to want to modify my nutrition a little bit to achieve a different outcome. And um, so you've got to be trained at understanding what those indicators are. And then that way you know what foods to change, what you know, what what type of fuel do you need to achieve that result? And so you gotta have a professional trainer. So that's why I've got my man Eddie. So let's weigh in here, see where we're at this morning. We've got
got a cardio session here in a few hours at 11. We did lift yesterday back to 242.8. I don't like being right here. We got to get under 240, guys. We got to get under 240. So, um, I know it's going to happen this week, though, because I'm doing a lot more cardio now. So, um, and I'm training twice a day now. So, uh, I'm going to start being even more disciplined with the camera. Usually, like, when I close off for the end of the day, I leave the camera out here in the office and then just turn it on when I get out here. But because I'm going to be starting to train in the mornings, too, I kind of want you guys to maybe see the morning routine just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to show off some of that, you know, the training that I do in the mornings. Uh, it's going to be very brief, just 10 or 15 minutes of intense cardio. Um, and then I have another session throughout the day. So... I want I want to start I want to start showing you guys a little bit more of that so I got to be a little bit more disciplined with this camera so uh, that's it for now I'm gonna go in and eat and I'm gonna come back out and pound out orders all day again until 11 o'clock and then at 11 o'clock I'm going to the gym to get in a cardio session probably gonna be another session on the stairmaster so I'll see you guys over there. Okay guys, so I got to the gym like 35 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago, but I locked my keys and my phone in the car. I had to come inside, call the wife, have her bring my keys out just to get it unlocked, and now we're in the gym, so. All right, so that's 30 minutes on the stair climber. Got to get back to work now. I got to get back to the house, shower, eat another meal, and then get back to work. And, uh then eat another meal later, then eat another meal later. Uh, five meals per day now. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all in to be honest with you guys, but I gotta try. Just finishing off the day here. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm still in here pumping out orders, specifically membership orders where we fell behind uh, during the recent uh, transition into full-time. We took a couple of months prior to transitioning to kind of like prepare in a lot of different ways. So that's like why we built this backdrop. That's why I got this camera. Uh, that's why I did a bunch of other things that ultimately led to us getting behind on order processing. So for the last few days, as you know, uh, have been completely filled with me processing orders. So we got like a bunch of membership certificates right here. These are all going out to some of our new members, Jeff. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Uh, Adam Lewis, Jory Thomas, John Mendoza, Javier something, Jessica Lucas, Austin Fisher, Tristan Giles, Bob Charles, tons of them. We got a bunch. And uh, so that's pretty much what I've been doing all day for the past three days, uh, minus when I go train. So, um, had four meals today so far. I've still got one more to go. We bumped up to five meals a day, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit difficult to get in that much volume. But I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I think I'll be fine tonight. Um, I still got a couple more hours before I've got to eat that last meal, and uh, I think by that time I'll, I'll be able to get through it pretty pretty good. Um, and it's with the with the bumped up training consistency and intensity now it should be easier to get that that food in so uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes I think I'm gonna be okay though I, th I think um, so uh, feeling good otherwise uh, it's been a productive day every day is gonna be productive from here on out now that we're full-time in this thing Ugh, so awesome um, other than that I think that's it and uh, I'm gonna try to start making these videos much more enjoyable. Like I'm gonna try to start bringing you guys with me a little bit more, be even more disciplined with the camera. You know, sometimes I just like leave it out here and just film in the mornings or when I'm out here in the office and I don't lug it around with me throughout the day, but fuck that. I'm gonna start doing that. And uh, you know, I'm gonna start showing you guys more of my meals, uh, talking to you guys more during my meal times, I guess, uh, just to kind of give you some more context of what goes on behind the scenes. I don't want to just show you when we're in the gym. I know that's probably a little bit more enjoyable to watch than, than me just rambling, but uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try to make these videos more in depth, uh, change it up, especially now that we're getting back on top of orders. Uh, we're gonna be able to start doing a lot more fun stuff, things that not, not necessarily fun, but 
fun to me and probably more interesting to watch for you guys. So obviously I'm not just gonna post the camera up here, here and let you guys see me go back and forth packaging and shipping out orders and printing labels and stuff like that because that would be boring as shit. So um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna start trying to pick up the pace and make this more enjoyable and deliver a video to you guys that you want to watch. So, that's it. I will see you guys in the morning. Peace out.